All right, now that we completed up the other side, I'll let you take a look at that same way. You obviously understand what we were looking at when we first got started. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray the top with some water and uh, comb through and teach you how to set your guide. First thing we're gonna do is always make sure that you cover the front. You don't wanna spray no water dripping down. So you spray it up pretty good. Get it nice and wet. Here, I'm gonna take my Kenshi shears and first thing we're gonna do is turn them to face the mirror so he can see. Then I'm gonna comb this through. And what we do pretty much is just part it on both sides, get you a little part as you can see it. Get a little part. Now the client likes it really low, so I'm just gonna bring it up. And about how much does he want off? He said a little bit, just a light trim. So what I'm gonna do is go through this just to show you how you set it. So you comb it up, set it, tuck your comb away, open these back up, cut. Now what I'm gonna do is I got these shears tucked back. I'm gonna take about half of this out and keep half of it in and then come back a little further. So now, as you can see in here, it's a little thicker and you can see the strands. That is the cut hair that we just cut. So now I'm gonna come back again. Take a little bit more out of that. Grab the hair we just cut and bring that up. You can see right there again. So this is how we follow our guide all the way back. Come back some more. Look for your guide. Cut again. Come back some more. Look for your guide. All the way to the back. Once again, whenever you're shear cutting, thumb is the only thing that moves. Because if you go like this, like you're cutting paper, you'll get a, your, your angle will be off. So now, we did a strip all the way back through here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take half of this center strip that we made, and we're going to pull it over into some of this so we can get the same exact, and we're going to come back up. And then we're going to go back again for this side. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So we got this middle strip, is which we set as our guide. So now we're going to take part of that middle strip, and we're going to come over. And we look for the guide. Come some more. Come back some more. Same thing. Now to blend the side, let me get a little bit more water. To blend the side, we're gonna be on that 45 degree angle. Just to make sure we don't have any parts sticking out. And the blend from the side was pretty thorough, so there isn't much here to cut, so. Just for double checking purposes, we gotta make sure we check. All right, so now this side is done. So now what we're gonna do is go back to our guide in the center. Same thing we used on that side to get started. We're doing the same thing over here. So now you're gonna come right back down the center again, following the guide that you started. Same exact thing. Now 
come around to this 45 degree angle. Obviously, since I'm left handed and this is the other side, I go from back to front. On the other side, I did front to back. And you see how everything just blends in nice and neat. up here and this is how you you check it so you come on up if there's any spots that are off which I'm sure there probably will be this is how you make it right just come straight back and this is called a cross check so you remember how we went like this at first now we're like this and you'll pull it up and you won't see much but you'll see you know little little spots but always the good haircuts you always have to pay attention to the details so now pretty much comb through we can see everything is even comb through check the front now in this case in the front we don't have to do anything because he just likes to spike this little bit up in the front and as you can look all the way around everything is nice and blended and there you have it so it's nice and clean and we'll just put a little gel in it and mess it up up top and there you have it once again you can follow me on social media obviously my youtube channel uh, youtube.com slash will stam you can follow me on instagram at, at will stam and my facebook page where i'll be giving out a lot of just different tips on all types of topics for barbers. Uh, Facebook.com slash Will Stam Pro, P R O. All right, so other than that, just shoot me an email or write in the comments. Anytime you watch the videos or write a comment or give me some feedback, it's greatly appreciated and I try to make sure I respond to everyone. All right, thank you. Have a great day.